have gotten settled into the facility, Ed and I, for the last couple of months, have been working on the next big project that's going to take snake discovery to the next level. Well, we're finally here to announce it. We got a warehouse! Let me show you the future of snake discovery. In this warehouse, we will be able to have more of a secretary type position or customer service position where someone can answer questions that we don't have time to do, unfortunately, with everything we have going on. They can schedule programs we have with our educators. They can create schedules. And in addition to that, we'll also have a warehouse manager so that we can open up an online store for our merch and for our products to ship all around the country. This has been something we've been wanting to do for a long time because a lot of you want merch that we currently really, most of it only sell in our store. So now we can ship it to all of you guys. So let me give you a tour of the place since we just received our keys for the building actually. This is going to be our future office area. We have some stuff that was left behind that by the previous tenants that we're going to be able to use, actually. So we're envisioning some desks in here. Uh, we're also getting this room repainted and the floors redone with carpet, so it's going to have more of an office feel to it. And then over here, I mean, we'll look at that in a second. That is the epicness of the warehouse. But in here, we have another room. I think this was their third. It's so echoey in here. Yeah, this whole building is echoey. It's all Just wait till we go out there. Oh, it's so echoey. Everything's empty right yeah. now. Uh, this they had, the previous tenants did use as a break room. It's a huge break room. So I don't know exactly what we're gonna use it for. Probably partially break room, partially order fulfillment are we gonna do? I don't know where that's gonna be, I don't know. but we'll see. Don't know what we're gonna use this room for exactly, but the main reason why we got this building was for this. We have a roughly 5,000 square foot warehouse that we are now leasing. It is very echoey. Very I'll echoey. Talk a little quieter actually so it doesn't echo as much. But this is where we're going to be able to store so many products that we sell in store. And since we'll have more storage space, we'll be able to, from a business standpoint, buy more in bulk so we can get a slightly better deal so it'll work out better. It's kind of a win win. So we'll also be able to uh, ship products from here to other people with our online store that we're currently building actually. Uh, and then we'll also be able to store merch in here. We can now with this space, since we have filled up our facility, we have definitely grown into that space. With this addition, we can come out with Snake Discovery branded products. We have a couple in the works right now. I don't want to give any spoilers. We're trying to find other ideas of awesome products that we can launch under the Snake Discovery brand and so on and so forth. So this goes like all the way down. It's so echoey in here. Yeah, it is. So we're getting the lights replaced with new LED lighting. The shelving is gonna stay here so that we can put pallets of products onto them and ship out from this base. We have a loading dock. Mm -hmm. Our loading dock at the facility is 24 inches off the ground and standard height is 55 inches. So we have to pay for a lift gate for every single delivery at our facility because our loading dock is the wrong height. Well, now we have a correct height one. Well, so lift it so we can see. Is it unlocked? Yeah, well, no, you have to unlock the little left. There you go. There you go. There you go. It's a lot heavier than our facility's garage door. <laughs> Whoa! It's an official loading dock. That is awesome. And we have a man door that probably is locked. Oh, look at that! I think it was unlocked, actually. <laughs> it didn't work, so. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not. It's okay, locked. It's locked. Okay, good. <laughs> we can open this door and say hello to our neighbors. Yeah, we'll we'll leave that closed. Yeah. <laughs> so are we thinking about? putting that shelving unit or all those shelves in the middle here and then we can have like a row of shelves for merch, uh, maybe Exoterra products over there, zoom in products and a bunch of other products over there. I don't know how we're going to arrange it but that's future Ed and Emily's problem. Yep. And then I think, oh we also have a bathroom. Yeah. Ooh, a bathroom. The bathroom isn't much to brag about but we'll show it to you anyway. I mean this whole video is a big empty building that we're very excited about but it's not very interesting. What can we put on the wall there? Like a sticker of our logo? There we go. That'd yeah. cool. Here's our awesome bathroom. Yeah. Ooh, it's so pretty. Yeah. So, it's so uh, white and industrial looking. Oh, the, it doesn't echo in here though. No, it doesn't echo. One of the first things we're going to do is replace the tile and repaint the room. Because yeah. Emily doesn't like white, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely 
sprucing this up. But even though, you know, there's things to fix about this building, as you know, we can handle that thanks to uh, the construction of our facility. So this is no big deal at all. The first thing we have to do here at the facility is choose new paint colors for the walls in here, that room, and the bathroom. And we have to choose carpet for these two rooms. Yep. So we're gonna get that done first. All right, so as you all know, we like bright colors. Not that we want every color to be a different color of the rainbow in here, but I'm thinking we'll stick with the same color theme we did at the facility, which was like a neutral gray and a nice bright color. And we have to figure out carpet too. I don't know, if you do like dark carpet, doesn't that make the room look smaller? But no. then light colors get stained easier. Yeah, I like this one. Ooh. Yeah, kind of a dark blue like and a gray. One. I'm game for that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we'll do dark blue and dark gray. And then we need just a gray color for half of the walls and then various brighter colors for the other half of the walls, I think, just to kind of balance each other out. Wait, what if we did the brightest colors we can find for all of the walls? Like we did that yellow. That yellow. That yellow with that pink. pink, pink. We'll do all the colors of the walls in those two shades. I think that would look great. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. You'd get all the work done. Oh yeah. Oh, there, there, there. Oh. How about black? Okay, we're not doing black. Why not? Like the deepest tone of black. It would look like a dungeon in here. That's fine. It'd be like Dwight's office when he becomes manager that's, for a day. That's what I want in our office. <laughs> no, we're not doing pure black walls in here. All right. After much deliberating and way too much time spent on this. I think we figured out what we I think we do. did. Okay, for the carpet, we're gonna do this. It's cool, it's black and bluey. Yeah. I think that'll look neat. Mm -hmm. And then for all the walls, we're gonna do a combination of March Wind, a gray with a colored accent. So we're gonna do, I think, March Wind with Picnic in the in this room that we're in right now, kind of the, the entryway. One that our thumb's covered up. Oh yeah, there, that there one. Yep, those two I think will look good together. And then in the break room type thing, we're gonna do March Wind and Rapture Blue. I think those will look good. And then March Wind and Cloudless in the warehouse area. A nice yep. light color to make it open. And then the bathroom. I don't know how to paint bathrooms for a commercial setting, but I think we're going with just kind of a tan. Sandbar. <laughs> yeah, uh, right. so that's what we've decided. So Perfect. next time we come back, all that should be done. Yeah, we don't even have to do it because we're not, uh, we don't own this place. Yeah, so. we're leasing this one because we don't know how fast it's going to grow or how well it's going to do. So we decided to lease instead. So yep. we'll come back when all that's done. Okay, we were told that painting and everything is pretty much done and we're ready to move in. So... Ooh. Found you. Oh, hello. You were here finally. You were already in here. Yeah, I'm sneaky. Is there a light switch? This looks... <gasps> That looks amazing. Wow, they even did the trim. And look at the carpet. Oh, the carpet's done too. This looks brand new. It means we're gonna have to vacuum. Yeah, we are gonna have to. That's okay, people will work here to, to vacuum. <laughs> Whoa, okay, now this is a snake discovery building. There's a scratch in that door. Oh, they already <laughs> messed up the door. How about over here? Oh, look at this, the other break room area. Oh, that looks great. Nice! We As used... I said before, our other employees are going to be jealous of this break room. Yeah, they're going to be very... That, at the facility, we don't even have a break room. We have a table. And... Mm -hmm. By the rodents. <laughs> yes, that is our break room. It's just a table we set up. Here we have an actual... They could drive here yeah. and use this break room if yeah. they want. They could do that. It's only 10 minutes away. Yep. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. And we I went do, with this... I like this gap here. Like... The gap? Yeah, that's for you to stand. Yep, that's your uh, timeout. Ah, yep. uh, my time up, yeah. Yes. Okay. Got one of those at home, too. Yes. We used the same colors as at the facility, so it kind of had the same vibe. And I love that they even did the black accents, because that's just like the facility, too. Oh, my gosh. Oh, they redid all the lights. Oh, nice. Those are all brand new. Oh, I think those are LEDs, too. Probably. Yeah, I don't see why he wouldn't do LEDs. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. There's shelving. And we can move all that stuff back into that room. But oh, okay, they have a little bit more to paint. Yeah, they still have to paint that wall. That wall, yes. But other than that, this is done. We can move in. Ed bought a fancy new toy. Yeah, look, now I can do this. It's Here got go. cool papery tape with our yep. logo on it. So we're gonna yeah. use this for like the uh, packages. packages that go out. Do you think I could like wax my legs with this? Try. <laughs> Never even waxed my legs before. Okay. Let's see, which one did I shave poorly? I think I shaved this one worse than the other the last time. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's go. I might regret this. We just let it sit. And <laughs> I think the, the adhesive has to dry. Oh, no. Okay, we can let it sit for a All little right. bit. Look, you got snake discovery on oh, you now. Oh, I've been branded. <laughs> Do we get our first order? 
No, they kind of drove by. They did just kind of keep going, didn't they? Yeah. We may or may not be expecting 16 pallets of Zoomed products as our first delivery here. And I think we're going to put all the pallets. This is it? First delivery? Oh my goodness. How cool is that? No, never mind. They're going next door. Oh, next door. Yeah. Oh, so close. I found a desk chair that they left here. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Ready? You should push me around. Yeah. Okay. Wow! Yay! Oh my goodness! No! No! Stop it! Okay, you caught me. Thank you. All right. All right. Wax me. Oh no, this is gonna hurt. Three. Oh, it has gotten dry. You go against the hair, right? Yeah, yep, I'm gonna against go this the grain. Way. Okay, three, two, one. Oh my gosh! It didn't even pull the hairs out. You got something. Did he get some at least? Uh, like a leg of a cricket or something. Why was there a leg of a cricket on my leg? Don't know. Oh, it left some glue behind. Ah, oh, it didn't work. Oh, okay, so it doesn't work for like, waxing? waxing. No, it doesn't. Hooray! We have our first order! It's only seven hours late, but that's FedEx for you. It's because we didn't have our uh, second phone, my phone number on the bill. Yeah, it's still because hey, it's FedEx. I'm not bitter. Hooray! We got all this stuff that was drop shipped from Zoomed. All of it's Zoomed stuff. Wait, where did Emily go? Emily? Emily? E Emily? Uh, what? Oh. oh what are you, sorry. What are you doing up there? I was taking a nap. Oh. It, this was comfier than the cement floor. Were you the reason that pallet was so heavy? Hey! <laughs> no! <laughs> this is all wood anyway. I can't break this. That's true. <laughs> so we have... 16 pallets of Zoomed products. 16 pallets. Our first order delivered to the warehouse. Yep. So next up is probably going to be Exoterra products, BioDude stuff, maybe Pan Pangea? I don't know if Pangea allows you to sell things online. I but we can know. look into it. Maybe we'll Pangea. It. And a ton of merch. We're going yes. to fill this warehouse up with merch, but I think we've done enough for today. So we're going to end this video here. Keep your eyes open for a part two when we'll show you what we're going to do with the office areas. And we're going to show you all the shelving we're going to set up here, yeah. all the organization of all the products. We have to set up all that shelving behind. We want, I want to scoot it down. Okay. I don't know if that's going to be possible, but... Yeah. There's going to be a lot of changes in this warehouse, but hopefully, fingers crossed, at the end of part two of our warehouse um, series, I guess, the website could be up and running yeah. at the end of part two video. So we'll see, don't know, might be a part three type thing, but we'll keep you posted. And we are so excited for the expansion of Snake Discovery. We're also going to be moving quite a few reptiles into this building and we'll do videos on those, on yeah. which animals we're gonna feature in our warehouse. It's gonna be nice enclosures, hopefully. Yeah, really It's in nice. the works, but we'll see. We have some plans for nice displays here in the warehouse. And uh, yeah, so. A lot of fun stuff happening here. Welcome to our big empty building. Welcome with all the echoes and everything. Yeah, with all the echo. The amazing filming building. Yes. We'll still spend, I think, the majority of our time at the facility. And this is going to be just run separately. But I don't know yet. I don't know what to expect. We're kind of just rambling here. You kind of get the idea. Yep. We'll have a part two with more details coming Also, soon. just to show you how high Emily is on that, it's... I was holding the camera way high. <laughs> there you go. Like... I stand six feet tall, and this is me standing here. Look, I can see your foot. Do -lo 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 -lo. Thanks. Thanks. Hey! Look, like... anybody want Emily's shoe? I'll sell it to you. Oh my gosh. It's smelly. You don't want that. Ooh, smelly shoe. <laughs> Gross. Thank you. Yep. Thank you for watching, everybody. We're a little loopy because we've been working a lot today. So we're going to cut it here. Thank you, Patreon backers, for your very generous support. You're going to help us with some epic enclosures here at the warehouse. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Look. Oh, Emily's got Pikachu on her foot. I'm and Meowth. What's, what's your other one? What's my other one? Oh, Meowth. You got oh. two Meowths. Meowths. You like Meowth more than Pikachu? Apparently today. <laughs>
I'm just gonna like take a nap. Wait. You can do the rest of the warehouse. What? You can build some shelves. No, this is that. this is way too much work. Oh, I'm so tired though. I'm okay. just gonna go home. Good night. Good night.